What's up, everybody? My name is Scott Waters, and welcome to the Lights of Metal. Going to be doing a Lights of Metal graphics update today. Uh, I got lots to show, mostly vinyl this time around. I got some CDs too. I'm going to do them in a separate video. Uh, I'm just going to get into the vinyl. Get to do three uh, Record Store Day releases this year. I've had these for quite a while, but I couldn't show them until they were released on Record Store Day. So, uh, first one, Retroactive. Um, actually, this is Boone's Overstock and Brutal Planet Records. Uh, and this is uh, In This Moment. And as you can see, it's got the Record Store Day hype sticker on it and uh, original cover for this album, which was their first album, Beautiful Tragedy. Always liked the artwork for this. Um, it came out really nice. My copy is still sealed. It does have an, a beautiful insert inside of it and that I laid out and designed, and it's got custom center labels. But frankly, I'm keeping this copy sealed, and I won't be opening it. So, sorry, I can't show you everything. <laughs> but uh, I did get the latest one out, and uh, it came out really nice. Unfortunately, um, the label that this came from, which I believe was Century Media, it didn't have the um, the artwork for it, so I had to recreate most of the artwork, but it came out perfect. I mean, it looks as beautiful as I've ever seen it look, so uh, no complaints on this one at all. I think it came out great, front and back cover both. And the insert as well, it's got the lyrics and the liner notes and everything else you should want inside of it. Um, sticking with Brutal Planet Records, this is one of two Jeff Loomis solo albums. Of course, Jeff Loomis, uh, who was with Arc Enemy, but before that he was the one. He was probably the main songwriter for Nevermore, and I love Nevermore. Big fan of of that band. Uh, I like Arc Enemy too, but this solo stuff is fantastic. Um, first time ever on vinyl. This one's got a cool. You can see uh, the moss green vinyl front cover, back cover. A really good picture of Jeff and. This one has got a custom, well, they all have custom. So there's the insert, front and back, photos of the band, these guys have played on the record. Um, yeah, great music. If you're uh, into Nevermore at all, um, you'll probably dig this album. It's really well done. Great songwriting. Um, a lot of instrumentals. If, and this one may actually be all instrumentals. One of the albums is all instrumentals, one of them is not. Um, but this one came out fantastic. It is on, like I said, a moss green vinyl, which I'll show you. Uh, I don't think it's available in any other color. It is a translucent moss green. Almost looks like one of those glow-in-the-dark vinyl. But very cool. I, I mean, this album is fantastic. Um, glad it's on vinyl, finally. Mastered by Rob Caldwell, Bombwork Sound. Sounds great, looks great. I'm really happy with how it came out. And uh, it was officially licensed, and uh, as far as I know, Jeff Loomis is on tour at the moment. But um, when he gets back, he will be seeing his copies, which were sent to his house. <laughs> so there you go, Jeff Loomis. This one is uh, Planes of Oblivion, Brutal Planet Records, BoonsOverstock.com if you're interested. And Zero Order Phase as well. Front, back, again another picture of Jeff, as you can see on the back. The guy is just a shredder but I think the thing I like about these uh, solo albums and even the instrumental tracks is the songs don't come off as just like a lot a lot of instrumental stuff it's just a you know a riff that someone is shredding over top of and, and, and noodling and showing how you know how fast they can play that's not the case here these are really well written songs and the guitar playing is of course awesome a lot of guests on here that you probably know as well on both these they have some nice guests on them uh, this one actually had a hype sticker too, but for whatever reason mine arrived without the hype sticker, but it is on a like a cyan blue color vinyl. And there's a custom insert. The people who play on the record. And notes. Uh, let's see if I can see some of the guys who played on here because there are some. Uh, let's see. Ron Jarzembeck, um, Pat O'Brien, who of course also played in uh, Nevermore for a while, is on here. Um, Michael Manning played on here. There's a, there was, I would swore like maybe it's the other one I'm thinking of that had had uh, like Marty Friedman and some other people playing on. It might have been this one here. Let's see. I'll open this one back up again. And I'm talking about the music, but I'm still talking about the graphics. But I mean, all right. Let's see here. 
Yeah. Marty Friedman, Tony McAlpine, Chris Poland. So there's a bunch of guys who played on this one. Uh, and this is the one that has some of the tracks are vocal, some of the tracks are instrumental. The other one's all instrumental, but both of them are fantastic. Highly recommend it if you, like I said, if you like Nevermore, if you like Shred Metal, if you, you know, anything. It's just a really, really good album. Um, there's also, um, let's see here, also available on Gold Disc as well. Both these Jeff Loomis are. All right, next up, this is um, Bombworks Records, also available from Boone's Overstock. But this is the very first Crimson Thorn cassette tape release. Um, I mean, I'd call it demo, but you know, it, it did have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven songs on it, so it was a full-length demo. Um, but it was only really some cassette, and Crimson Thorn are known for being, you know. A very guttural death metal band. This here was kind of early, and it was kind of that death thrash mix, which I really dig. Um, front cover, back cover. Uh, I've actually never even opened this one. It just recently came in the mail. Uh, it does not have an insert in this one. It does have a custom center label. If I can get it out of the plastic, that is. It's on black vinyl. But as you can see, it's got a custom center label. Only 200 pressed, as far as I know. Uh, again, available at Boone's Overstock. Um, this one was a bit of a challenge now because nobody had the original artwork. So I had to create this entire thing from the cassette. Um, and considering what I had to work with, this thing came out spectacular. The cover art, I mean, it, it's not blurry, it's not you know, pixelated, it looks really well, it looks really good. Of course, I did recreate the background, I've, you know, I've, it's like a parchment paper I used in the background to give it that look, and, um, the, you know, the font is new, um, I touched up the Crimson Thorn logo and made it crisp, and, you know, so I, I just want it to look as best it possibly can. I think this one came out spectacular. As well, their second full-length album, uh, their first full-length album also came out on vinyl, but it came out on vinyl a couple years ago. Um, this is their second full-length album. This one was called uh, Dissection. Uh, another one that had to be recreated from CD. No one had the original artwork. There's a bunch of different CD versions of this with a bunch of different covers. Um, but this uh, is the more common cover, There's, although there are even two versions of this cover. Um, but the red cover is the one I worked with. It was really dark, um, so I was able to bring out quite a bit of detail on this thing. Uh, it's kind of a cool cover. It's, it's you know, obviously very death metal-y. <laughs> uh, and that's exactly what it is. Very guttural death metal. Front, back. And this one does have an insert with lyrics. And you guys are seeing this for the first time with me because I haven't opened these yet. So here's your black vinyl, custom center label. Black polyline sleeve. Uh, almost every release that Bombworks has, or Brutal Planet or Retroactive has done has been in uh, polyline sleeves. So they take, they spend the extra money to give us quality, which I, I appreciate. So um, and here is the lyric side of the insert, and then on the other side is a photo of the large photo of the band. Um, yeah, this one originally came out in what uh, mid '90s, 1997. Like I said, it's been released by multiple different record companies. Um, I think Morphine Records released it first in 97, because that was the same year that Ultimatum was signed to Morphine Records to release um, Puppet of Destruction. And we ended up switching labels and switching to Ro Row Records and in 1998 it came out. So it was like almost a year after it finally came out. So yeah, Crimson Thorn, Dissection. And then finally, Crimson Thorn Purification. This was their third full-length album. Front cover, back cover, a photo of the band. Once again, had to recreate all the artwork because none of the artwork was available. Um, unfortunately, I couldn't get the band to get me any photos because I would have loved to have like included a collage of you know live stuff in here. Um, I just, they just, it just wasn't available. So here's your custom insert with the logo, lyrics. And it's two black vinyl, only 200 copies pressed. Custom center label. So 
So again, d uh, Death Metal, Brutal Planet. I'm sorry, I keep on saying Brutal Planet. Bombworks Records. So um, Boone's Overstock is the home of Retroactive Records, Bombworks Records, Brutal Planet Records, Born Twice Records. So there's a bunch of labels that that sell through um, Boone's Overstock. So I occasionally mix up the labels. <laughs> Even when I'm doing the artwork, sometimes I mix up the labels and and the label and uh, the label guys. You gotta say, oh, you got the wrong label on there, dude. You need to change that out. I just did that recently with a what they call it, X Cops. So I had on there the Retroactive Records, and it was actually Brutal Planet Records. So. <laughs> Anyhow, there you go. Three from Crimson Thorn. Mainline Riders. Now this is uh, totally different. Where that band was kind of thrash death, brutal death, that kind of thing. Uh, Mainline Riders is kind of sleazy, heavy metal, kind of like Dirty Looks or ACDC, that kind of, you know. I mean, you kind of get the ACDC vibe even from the front cover and the, the back cover. Once again, unfortunately, the original artwork was nowhere to be found, so I had to recreate it. But it it, it came out stellar. You're not gonna be able to tell the difference. I mean, it's it, it just looks fantastic. My cover got a little beat up in the mail, unfortunately, but it's not too bad. It does have a custom insert? Picture of Cliffy there. Big old picture of Cliffy, the main guy and main songwriter, main guy in the band. Of course, Cliffy is known from uh, from the Huntingtons. Cliffy Huntington there. Um, this album was actually uh, remastered by him. And then the other side has the lyrics. And then it is black vinyl. Only 200 copies pressed. And custom center labels. This is on Retroactive Records. And all the Retroactive releases have the flame on the B-side. So kind of a corporate identity thing. But this one came out really nice. It sounds great. Like I said, if you're into like Dirty Looks, Dangerous Toys, um, any of those ACDC sort of inspired, you know, sleazy metal bands, you're probably going to dig this as well. That's kind of the style you get here. Rhino Bucket. Um, you know, that sound. Really good stuff. This is uh, their second album. Their first album was a little more... The first time Ronnie made the band in London for some reason, um, but this one here is much grittier. Uh, everything from the vocals to the guitar playing to you know the songwriting is grittier. Kind of has that ACDC vibe going on. So this is the brand new Bride. This too is on Retroactive Records. Now um, this is a new album, but I did not create the cover for this one. Um, I just did the layout. So the front cover, the back cover. This one has all kinds of. It came out on vinyl, uh, cassette. It came out on a silver CD and a special edition gold CD. The gold CD is actually pressed on gold CDs. Has an uh, an outer lay. Uh, what do you call that? Thing? Actually, my headlights in right here. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> it's got a outer uh, outer sleeve. If I can get it out of the sleeve. Apparently not. Anyhow, you get the idea. There's a the sleeve. You know, it's got one of those outer sleeves. I'll show the whole that whole thing in another video, but. Um, Here's the vinyl version of it. Brand new album from them. Really good record. It's heavy. Now, when I say heavy, it's not, you know, metalcore, thrash, death metal, deathcore. It's not that heavy. It's heavy for Bride. Um, if you like, you know, the last couple albums, I think this one is actually a step up above those two. Um, although I did like those two as well. I thought they were good albums. But this one I've been listening to quite a bit more than those. So, nice picture of the band on the inside. This, well, two of the guys. So the two main guys, the two songwriters, so you got Dale Thompson on vocals there and Troy Thompson, his brother. You know, the two guys who basically have been in Bride since the very beginning. Um, this little logo was not created by me either. It was created by Rafael Tavares. And it's, it's supposed to say, Are You Awake? And it does also come with custom center labels. So there's your one side. There's the back side. Again, all the retroactive records releases had the flame on the back side um, there's also a poster available it's a 12 by 18 poster so um, it did not come inside the vinyl it came with the vinyl um, and you can still get those over at bloomsoverstock.com if you're interested in picking up the new bride like I said cassette CD silver CD and gold disc CD 
And staying with uh, this Boo's Overstock, but this is Brutal Planet Records. This is Jag Panzer. This is uh, The Age of Mastery. This thing came out really, really well. This one came out so well that uh, I got a I got a text from the guitar player saying thank you for making the cover look so great. I love the gold. He loved the gold logo as opposed to the red logo that was on the original. Um, it just stuck out like a sore thumb to me, and I just I mean this whole thing is based on you know gold and uh, you know, treasure and that kind of thing and. Uh, so it just seemed like it needed that, so um, I'm glad you liked it because I thought it came out great. Uh, custom sent a custom pipe sticker does have a custom insert and custom center label, all of which I was able to do the layout for. Obviously, I didn't do the cover art. This is a reissue, and it's the original cover. So here's the insert. Oddly enough, there is zero promo photos of this. This lineup of the band, which in included uh, Chris uh, Broderick on guitar, Chris went on to play with Megadeth and others. So custom center labels, and this is on a colored vinyl. It's on a gold. So you go, got that metallic gold look, and uh, yeah, sounds great too. Remastered by Rob Caldwell at Bombwork Sound. He did a great job. Um, I mean, it's not when you hear, you know, um, remastered, you tend to think loud and brick wall that's not the case here it is loud it is you know you can't get as loud on vinyl as you can with cd um but it's not brick walled and all the dynamics are there the bottom end is just booming and but but when you get into the quieter moments those quieter moments sound fantastic as well it just did an outstanding job on this thing so anyhow jag panzer the age of mastery got through the lay on that one and it like i said it came out spectacular i'm really happy with it and this is the last one for, this is Retroactive Records, picture disc for Mass, Voices of the Night. This was a 1988 album uh, produced by Michael Swedish Striper. This actually has bo two bonus tracks that recorded at the same time, around the same time, that weren't on the original vinyl. Um, one of them, I believe, was on the CD, but Still of the Night and Stevie are on here, two tracks from that time period that are added to the vinyl. Um, back cover, it includes this photo that the band really wanted to include, so uh, it's a good photo of the band from that time period. And it's got the original photos, individual band photos that were included in the original CD and vinyl. Sounds good. Um, you know, people complain about picture discs um, not sounding good, but this thing sounds really, really good. Uh, it's not overly noisy like a lot of picture discs are, so I'm really happy with how this one came out. Custom hype sticker as well. All right, this is uh, Rocks Records, 80s metal band Mercy Rule. Uh, again, I didn't create the album cover art it was this is the original cover um, but I did do a lot to restore the art <laughs> um, somebody had an original vinyl pressing of this thing it was pressing to vinyl in Europe I believe only uh, and I have that and then I also had original CD pressing that um, and I have an original cassette pressing as well to go off of. so I had all these things to go off of um, but I ended up using the CD because the vinyl was awful it was just blurry and grainy and Anyhow, I recreated the whole thing, so I went in, I, all these little images, these little, you know, elements, the guys, the, the cops beating the people, the, the people all lined up here, the bombs, the White House, all that kind of different stuff, all those different images, I recreated them, and, and they're 100% sharp as can be, recreated the logo, so everything is fresh and clean, and, and it's just, it, it, it should look, I don't have the original vinyl anymore, but it's, I know for a fact it's way crisper and, and looks better than it did. Uh, and I added a band photo to the cover as well. The original didn't. The original, as I believe, all I had was lyrics in the back, and it was just boring. Like, I think it was black or maybe orange, and then it had lyrics, and that was it. Um, this one looks a little nicer. <laughs> um, this one's available at rocksrecords.com. This one, too, has insert with some live photos of the band. Lyrics. Black vinyl. It's only 200 pressed. Custom center label, and the backside has the Rocks logo, as all Rocks Records releases do. Um, corporate branding, which I think is spectacular. You know what you're getting with Rocks; they always deliver quality products. Same thing with Retroactive and Bombworks and Brutal Planet, for that matter. All right, next up, a couple more um, Record Store Day releases that I am keeping sealed, so I won't be able to really go deep into those. John Elefante, The Amazing Grace. Of course, John Elefante was the singer for Kansas for a while in the 80s, recorded about two or three albums with them. And uh, Custom Center 
custom sticker. It is purple vinyl, as you can see from the picture on the sticker, it's purple vinyl. Uh, back, again, I didn't create this artwork. This artwork was, was already done, and all I did was do the layout for it, but uh, I did brighten it up a little bit because it was a little dull. Um, there is a custom center. There's custom center labels and a custom insert in here that I also did. But again, this is a record store day release that sold out, so I'm keeping my copy sealed. Um, I do have the CD version of this, so. Uh, and then this one here was a really big deal on record store day. These things sold out like gangbusters. Um, this is Macho Man Randy Savage, Be a Man. This is a rap album. Again, has a custom hype sticker, record store day on there. Purple vinyl. Back cover does have an insert with photographs and lyrics and does have custom center labels again this one is sealed and I'm keeping it that way so I can't really show it to you um, but other people have showed this one on record store day videos this is one of the albums that I think there was a thousand copies pressed and all thousand copies sold out on that day so um, really cool this is um, also a, a limited run vinyl release as you can see the little limited run vinyl sticker down here so all right that was on um, this one here was on Girder Records. This also is Girder Records. This is the um, the very first uh, Resurrection band who later became known as Res Band. 1978, I believe this came out. Um, waiting your reply. I spent a long time making sure this was perfect. I love this album. I love this band. I wanted this thing to be as perfect as I could get it. Um, I do have an original vinyl pressing, so that's what I used because the original artwork was gone. Um, but I cleaned it up, made sure there was nothing on there that, that would even remotely look like it was scanned from something else. It looks like the original artwork. It's just that clean. I mean, I went up and I even went into all the little teeny stars that you see in here, made sure they were all clean and, and, and sharpened up. And then there's the back, which is very similar to the original, but I did add the logo to the back. And um, as dark as that photo is, it was even darker in the original. But that's the band in Chicago. Um, Again, I didn't open this one. I just kind of waiting to do it on video with you guys. Uh, I did open the next one, and I'll show you why in a second. But uh, this, this one has, instead of a custom insert, it has a custom sleeve. And it is on a purple lavender colored vinyl. And as you can see, it's got custom, custom center labels. Lyrics, graphics, um, I took bits and pieces of the original graphics to use on this thing. Nothing here is really new. Uh, I, th that image has blown up a lot. Yeah, there's another picture of the band right there that was in the, in the original. And uh, that's it. Yeah, that one came out really, really well. Waiting to Reply, 1978, Resurrection Band, Girder Music, GirderRecords.com. As was this one. But this is uh, Resurrection Band's... Um, Rebels and now this one was a lot of a lot more difficult than that one to work on again I had to recreate it the original artwork was gone front cover back cover it came out really nice I'm really happy with how this one came out as well and you guys know when I say I'm really happy with something that I'm not lying because if, if something doesn't come out the way I like it I let you know <laughs> but this one came out exactly how I wanted it to come out so front cover back cover but this one's got a die cut in it as you can see so um, I'm going to pull this out. So it does have a custom sleeve. Here's the sleeve. And then here is the cover with the die cut. But as you can see, you can slide it in and have the window show through that way. Or the way it comes in the mail and the way you would see it if you purchased it. Like this. Now there are original copies from 1979 that have die cuts as well. But they didn't come out as nice as this one. Trust me, I have one of those. Um, but most of the pressings after the first pressing were just flat, and they weren't. There was no die cuts. So um, Greg and Gerd are such a big fan of this band. He's like, no, when we put this one out, it's got to have those die cuts in there. So we spent a lot of time making sure that those die cuts are perfect and those windows fit in there perfectly, and they do. They look great. I'm really happy with how well this one came out. Um, does not have an insert because it has the you know the sleeve, but it does have this bright orange label and vinyl so again really happy with how this came out now the CDs for this came out spectacular as well not only do they have 
beautiful booklets inside of them, but they're spot varnished, and they he's put some money and some time and some effort into those as well. Uh, but the vinyl is available if you're interested. GerderMusic.com, GerderRecords.com, either one will get you there. And I'll try and remember to put a link below. And that's it for uh, this video. Appreciate y'all watching. Um, any questions, leave them below. Any comments, leave them below. Always like talking to you guys. God bless and stay strong.